All right. Uh, what do you say we grab some suggestions, see what we can do together? <laughs> okay. Guilty pleasures. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this Wait, woman listen, has been I, waiting. I, know. <laughs> I mean, they're the best couple in here. I mean, this is like freaky. I'm more. <laughs> I'm more curious about their guilty pleasures with each other. Well, we already know his. <laughs> uh, <laughs> woo! Uh, what was that? It's Linda. <laughs> it's Linda. The guilty pleasure is Linda. I like how you said Linda with a nice little Latin twist on it. Linda. Yeah. I, I, my racist mind thought she said Selena. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay, I hear the accent. Like, okay, she wants to hear about Selena. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you if you turn could you imagine that somebody turning every name and say Rebecca <laughs> Selena Selena is that what you said uh, what do we got over here soaking soaking so- damn do you know what that is I know what it is but I mean I mean that's a nice that's a nice that's, that's like guilty pleasure soaking yeah I th- feel like you've soaked before sir <laughs> do you know what that is no he well, soaked in a tub that's a different type of soaking right I'm yeah. sh- no, he looks like he soaked in like soaked in an Epsom salt bath. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Have you done it? Maybe on accident. <laughs> That's just a dude who's coming too quick and is like, oh, I soaked. Uh. Okay, for those of you who don't know what soaking is, because it's a lot of this room, um, it's when uh, is it? It's basically when a man puts his penis inside of a woman's vagina, and rather than thrusting. Uh, it's not a sin if you just soak it in there. Yeah. Or it's not. It's not a. It's, it could also be like a not a sin, mm-hmm. or it could be a way to uh, maximize the sexual experience, right? So that you don't come quick. Instead of moving, you just soak. soak. <laughs> do you? Would that be pleasurable for the woman, though? Most things you guys do are not pleasurable for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, 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 what the, what just happened? All the ladies up there like, let the bodies hit the floor. We get it, all right? We don't pleasure you. Uh, uh, <laughs> A size seven earthquake just happened in that part of the balcony. It started shaking. All the men were like, wait, we don't? <laughs> and we love you anyway. That's something okay. that should be. Are you, on, are you honest uh, with your partner when uh, you don't get pleasure? It depends. Right. Yeah, it depends. Yeah. yeah. Um. It really depends on like how much I like him and Mm -hmm. what I stand to gain. (laughs) (laughs) You know, it's like this section is scaring me. (laughs) I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like you know just out like I'm. I'm like doing well in life, so I don't need to just be out here like leasing the pussy. You know what I'm saying? Right. (laughs) <laughs> yes, queen, yes. <laughs> Don't scrape the bottom of the barrel for that growth dick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> preach, preach. But, but if he seems like a more viable candidate mm-hmm. and he has like more things to offer than just that, I may be, I mean, you know. Like you I might lead him a little lead, bit more. Yeah, you may yeah. just like give him time to learn. Have you ever done one of these where you're just like, you know, just, you know, you kind of guide them, you kind of. Uh, <laughs> so, so, that, so that I had to just say outright to a guy that I really liked. He was like, in my opinion, like, the 99.9% package, but mm-hmm. the 1% was the size of his dick. Mm-hmm. Um, it was very, it was unfortunate. I'm not a size queen either. I'm not a size queen. Me neither. <laughs> I'm like not a size vagi- queen I like at my all. vaginas, whatever size, you know? <laughs> I'm not a size queen. I'm not like, I need a big vagina, you know? <laughs> I need a fountain, come on. If I don't have a girthy vagina, girls, it ain't happening. <laughs> But I, 
<laughs> I said to him, because, okay, so I faked it. Well, he had potential. <laughs> so I faked it. Mm -hmm. We was on a freaking romantic trip. I didn't want to fuck up the romantic trip. So I faked it. Mm -hmm. But I must have faked it too good because then he got really cocky. No pun intended. <laughs> and so it was like, you know, he was just like, just feeling himself too much. Yeah. And I was like, let's calibrate, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so then because I was so pissed that he like got arrogant a bit. The, you know, the you next to ground him a little I bit. had to ground him, right. yeah. yeah. And so then we that caused us to have a conversation, and I was like, I never came out and said that his dick was unworthy. <laughs> <laughs> but I did say that I think it would uh, service him mm -hmm. and us if he used his mouth and his fingers and his... Right. <laughs> If he utilized every other... Can I just say... Can, yes. I, can I just... Can I just say... I, I love how sweet of a person you are. <laughs> because these bucket hat ladies would have just been like, Dick Game Week, next. <laughs> next. Yes. Yes. <laughs> No, no, the men, you know, men, you have, I, 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 you don't want to, because I, I think the men are not also as honest with women either, you sure. know, and I think it's all a protection of like our egos and things like that. You want us, you, we don't want psychopaths in the world, you know, and so you, yeah, they are. I mean, what well, women are too, could you, if, if guys told us the truth all the time, we would be crushed. <laughs> But you no, but you're talking about just sex. Like that's an area where now's a TED talk. Um, <laughs> but there's a lot of things. Like you know how many friends I have that like their voice. I'm like, who list? I don't even want to. I text a friend. I text her. Right. She started sending me voice notes, and I said, Oh no, no, this is no, no, no. no. <laughs> I can't stand those. I know. I know. The guy she dates hates her voice, but she's a beautiful woman, and so they just fucking take the shit. <laughs> but right. if we all told her you have a terrible voice, she'd probably be too afraid to speak in public again, you know? So you can't tell her that. You just if I take the shit to the chest. Right. <laughs> Put a little pillow over it. <laughs> Guys, you can't just tell every guy. You only tell a guy he has a little dick in a harsh way if he's an asshole. Then he deserves it. You say, fuck you and your little dick. That's what you say. <laughs> <laughs> but if he's not an asshole, you just have to say, "Listen, this, this, is, cute. this is cute. Yeah, this is this is this is this is not this is not gonna cut it. But it's not over for you." Can you imagine if, as a guy, after I broke up with a girl, I was like, "Yeah, your pussy's cute and everything, but..." <laughs> well, if you make that face. <laughs> Never told the guy your dick is small and you <laughs> like are you are you having a stroke, Zainab? Uh, <laughs> Guys, keep it going for Zainab Johnson. Thank you.